Hey guys, so today we're doing an update on Ariana Grande. I've covered the whole saga, so I'm not gonna wake up too much, but I've done like two or three videos on Ariana Grande already in this whole situation, so I'll just kind of breeze through that, I guess. Thank you, Phoebe. You can hear the tail wagging. That's one happy dog. Who recently turned three. It was her birthday recently, so that was, you know, a celebration of life. Here she is, my three-year-old. She's a three year old. If you guys don't know, Ariana Grande has had a history of being the other woman, which is usually not what you want to be. I feel like for women that like to be the other woman, they think it's some kind of a, it means that they're better than other women because men are picking them over other women. You're just not a woman's woman. I don't, um, like, it. Do you think I'm stressed out for you? Is that what's going on? You think I'm anxious and you're just helping me out here? You think I'm just anxious and you're helping me out? Thank you so much, Muffin. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Oh my goshness. Wow. That is a baby. Your three-year-old baby? Pretty much every relationship she's had, there's been some kind of an overlap from like Jay from the Droskins to Big Sean with Nara Rivera. That there's just so many people. Mac Miller, there was an overlap. And then Mac Miller, there was an overlap again with the second time they reunited. Or Pete Davidson, there was a there was an overlap. And now she's dating Dalton Gomez, which there seemed to be no overlap there, which was really nice. You know, he's also not in the limelight, which was great. He was, um, he is a real estate agent, very successful in LA, which we all thought was kind of healthy for her. She got married over COVID. They started dating and pretty soon after they they got married and it was a private ordeal. It wasn't, you know, paparazzi and all of this stuff. They were just kind of living life together. But there was also the like flip side of it where if you start dating during COVID, you're kind of isolating together, which puts you in a bit of a love bubble, right? And then you leave and you start doing real world stuff and the real world stuff is very different for the two of them. Like, yeah, they're both rich and successful, but he, she's Ariana Grande. He's a real estate agent. Like there is a bit of a difference there in lifestyle. And I think maybe there was an issue with that. She did obviously then start working on the Wicked film in London, which was, it got stopped obviously by the strike, which is a whole other situation. For example, of recent Drew Barrymore. So disappointing, obviously she's got her own talk show and she recently made an announcement that she was going to continue filming and like, they're gonna go through production and the episodes are gonna come out. And everyone obviously gave her a lot of crap for it as they should kind of. And she then put out a video kind of trying to justify it, got even more crap for it, and then put out an Instagram post essentially saying that she was gonna put a pause on everything. I deeply apologize to writers. I deeply apologize to unions. I deeply apologize. I've never been in a place to upset or hurt anyone. It's not who I am. I've been through so many ups and downs in my life. And this is one of them. To go back to the show, I didn't want to hide behind people. So I won't. And I won't polish this with bells and whistles and publicists and corporate rhetoric. I'll just stand out there and accept and be responsible. As for why Drew chose to bring back the daytime talk show, the 48-year-old doubles down on a statement previously posted to Instagram. We aren't gonna break rules and we will be in compliance. I wanted to do this because, as I said, this is bigger than me and there are other people's jobs on the line. And since launching live in a pandemic, I just wanted to make a show that was there for people in sensitive times. And I weighed the scales and I thought if we could go on during a global pandemic and everything that the world has experienced through 2020, why would this sideline us? So, I want to just put one foot in front of the other and make a show that's there for people, regardless of anything else that's happening in the world. I'm glad she's fixed that. But there's obviously the strike, so filming for Wicked stopped, but she was still in London and she was still going to like the tennis matches and stuff and everyone was taking pictures of her and that's when we noticed she didn't have her ring on. <sighs> so 
she's then been seen getting cozy with Ethan Slater, who is a co-star for Wicked. He's also married and has a one-year-old child with his high school sweetheart. Essentially, they've been like together for probably 10 years, married for about five, um, have a child together. It was just gross. She had to fly back to LA, he had to fly back to New York. There was a lot going on. There were now reports saying, oh, you know, Ariana's giving him space to like sort out his life. And to me, that was sounding like she was already starting to back out. Like it was already getting a little bit boring for her. She was like, this is, I've had my fun. Like I'm actually gonna just like peace out. Dalton was actually filing a divorce and obviously Lily was distraught and he was trying to paint her out to be like this bad person like oh you know I'm just trying to co-parent with her and why don't I give him a British accent and I just want you know life to be good between us and blah 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 obviously that's not what you're gonna get when you've left your new mother uh, like alone essentially you've cheated on her you've destroyed her trust and faith in men like there's just no coming back from that so just be happy with what you've got but then we get TMZ reported on this um literally yesterday so TMZ Ariana Grande Dalton Gomez simultaneously filed for divorce how amazing is that um I'm glad he's sticking to his like you know he's not trying to be like begging for her to come back to him he's not blaming himself I mean even in, if internally he is and privately he is I'm glad that publicly he's saving face kind of and just proving a point and saying like just because you're Ariana Grande you're not going to treat me like this I still deserve like basic respect and decency which I think is great so Ariana Grande is following in her boyfriend Ethan Slater's footsteps because she's also officially filed for divorce from her husband of two years only two years and this is actually her longest relationship so let's see how the Ethan Slater stuff lasts I also don't understand how she ever trusts if she trusts the people that she is with because how you get them is how you lose them if I was the other woman and then I was like picked over the other woman I would never have trust in that relationship I'd be like well you cheated on them to be with me now every time you talk to a woman I'm gonna assume you're gonna cheat on me too so I'm surprised that the Dalton one lasted as long as it did and oh to be fair with Dalton there was also an overlap because his girlfriend ex-girlfriend pretty, pretty sure she posted when he gets with the girl that he told you not to worry about so actually there was an overlap there too so I just don't understand the like trust dynamic Ariana's lawyer Laura Wasser that was a lot of la 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 first filed Monday citing the boilerplate in irreconcilable differences as the reason for divorce. I mean irreconcilable differences I would say cheating but that's not really a difference of opinion that's just like a moral issue and Dalton immediately followed suit filing his response in a clearly coordinated effort. We're told everything was worked out before going to the courthouse. Sources say Arana will cut Dalton a check and that will be that. Now I don't mean to sound traditional because I'm definitely not a traditional woman I'm not like I'm not even sure if I want to have kids like just I'm not very traditional in that sense but where has the concept of like commitment gone I feel like you're allowed to not be committed and you're allowed to not be in a committed relationship if that is what you're going into a relationship with or not going into a relationship with like if you're just choosing to not be a committed person that is completely fine by me as long as you kind of communicate that and you don't ruin someone's life right or, or the trust if you get married and what we're assuming is a monogamous relationship considering Dalton is also um, quite religious I heard so I don't know if, how many religious people like polyamory where is commitment gone these days because surely you get into this monogamous relationship and commitment and like what do you mean oh um she'll just cut him a check and like like is that is there like a price that you put on breaking someone's heart and destroying their trust and ruining a relationship and a marriage and wasting two years of someone's time like oh, I'll just cut him a check like she looks at relationships as this just like transactional oh you gave me attention in a time when I needed attention and now I don't need it anymore so here's some money and like shut the f up like to me it's I'm once again I'm like not a super traditional person but I understand I'm into monogamy and I'm into commitment and like I said if you're not into monogamy and commitment then make that clear and don't go into those type of relationships but you have time and time again gone into these kind of relationships and then once I guess the excitement runs out you're just like oh bye like where has commitment gone are we as a society just not committed anymore because this is like this is devastating by the way they had a prenup the day of separation is February 20th 2023 this feels like a source provided thing like someone said that they separated in February so that they would avoid the cheating allegations because actually in a lot of places if you cheat the prenup becomes dead unless you put into the prenup like no cheating clause well you put into a prenup that you're allowed to cheat without the prenup 
like dying. Some places don't allow that because that's actually a fault divorce. There's a no fault divorce and a fault divorce. That's all just like state to state and country to country, like it changes. But I'm assuming they wanna like set down that the separation was in February to like, avoid to be like to try and get around the cheating situation when we all know that lily was blindsided so this couldn't have you know what i mean anyway as for why it took so long between the date of separation and the divorce filings a source with direct knowledge tells us that two took their time to iron out details and settle our source says there are no hard feelings they've been really caring and respectful of one another every step of this process now i think this source is more on our own side this is a friend of our own or a manager or a pr manager i don't think this person is from the dalton side because if i was one of dalton's friends right now i'd be saying not very nice things about Ariana Grande. So Ethan has also filed for divorce from his wife, Lily J. The two were high school sweethearts and tied the knot in 2018. And they also share a kid together whom they welcomed last year. This is literally devastating. With like her hormones still running high. I, I don't know, this is just disgusting. Sources also told us that Ethan desperately wants to co-parent their kid in the midst of the divorce. And both of them have apparently agreed. These sources seem very one-sided, like on Ethan and Ariana's side rather than Lily and Dalton's side. And I feel like it's because Lily and Dalton are both more private out of the limelight people they have less to like have to explain and also they're not in the wrong. So like once again, left, less to explain, I don't know. Daily Mail Online said exclusive Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater are living together in New York as he preps for a new Broadway role in Spamalot. As it's revealed, singer and ex Dalton Gomez still haven't filed for divorce. This was right before they filed for divorce. It was already said that Ariana moved in with Ethan in New York because he's in New York right now and she doesn't need to be in LA clearly. And that was while like her and Dalton were still technically married. And I just think this whole situation is so messy. And like, she's already moved in with her new boyfriend. Well, when she was just done cheating and he was just done cheating and they, they've like already moved in together. I think she just definitely has some kind of um, an insecurity within herself. And that's crazy to say that someone as massive and like famous and beautiful and talented as Ariana Grande is so insecure. But she just jumps from boy to boy. It's always the other woman always rushes into these relationships. She rushed into a marriage and she's rushing to move in with someone. And I don't know, it's just crazy to see. Maybe she'll find some, maybe like therapy. I don't know. Therapy's always good uh, for these kind of things. Also amidst all this drama, she has posted like a makeup tutorial, get ready with me thing, where she does go over the fact that she hasn't had fillers and Botox in a really long time and she used to get it, but she hasn't. And it's all pretty much dissolved now. And she discusses kind of insecurities around filler and Botox. Full transparency as a beauty person, as I do my lips, I've had a ton of lip filler over the years and Botox. I stopped in 2018 because I just felt so too much. I just felt like hiding, you know? Didn't expect to get emotional. <laughs> Take 300. No, um, for a long time, beauty was about hiding for me. And now I feel like maybe it's not since I stopped getting fillers and Botox and maybe I'll start again one day. I don't know. To each their own. Whatever makes you feel beautiful, I do support. But I know for me, I was just like, oh, I want to see my well-earned cry lines and smile lines. I hope my smile lines get deeper and deeper and I laugh more and more. And I just think aging is like such a, it can be such a beautiful thing. Now, might I get a facelift? In, a, in 10 years? Might, yeah. <laughs> but these are just thoughts that I feel like we should be able to discuss if we're sitting here talking about beauty secrets. And some people are taking this really, really well, as in, you know, appreciating that she was honest about having filler and Botox and now discussing the negative effects that that has on your psyche. But some people are then being very skeptical and being like, is this just a distraction to make her more sympathetic? in people's eyes because of everything going on with Ethan Slater and Dalton Gomez. Mainly with all the like, she posted that, get ready with me, well that was posted. And then literally a few days later, she's like filing for divorce and people are like, is this just like a distraction tactic? Or to make her just look a little bit more like, oh, like poor Ariana. But I don't know. Um, I don't know if people are that like scheming all the time, but then again, maybe, who knows. But let me know what you guys think, subscribe to the bell, like comment for engagement and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.